Hi, I'm Bob Wilson with Create a Component. I'm the inventor of the foot and the knuckle. This is my assistant, Andrew. He'll be uh, helping us today as we demonstrate how to build a floor lamp um, using standard uh, fittings that you can find at, at any hardware store. So uh, let's get started. We'll also have um, instructions on um, the material list that we use for this and we're going to try this and see how it goes. Uh, we're going to start off with a, uh, with a knuckle. We've got uh, all of our various pipe fittings. Um, you want to go ahead and paint those first or powder coat those. We did a uh, kind of a clear coat, powder coat on it going for a natural look. Uh, all of the pipe that we're using um, has not been coated at all. We did, uh, we did clean off any of the oil and dirt that was on there. Uh, a lot of the pipe you'll get has almost a, uh, like a tar coating on it. Some folks like to leave that on for the industrial look. Uh, for this application, we did clean that off with some hot, uh, hot soapy water. I think we used some like laundry detergent in there to get that cleaned off. Uh, and so now we've just got the bare pipe. So the fittings have been coated. The pipe itself, we're gonna leave natural. Even if it gets a little surface rust over time, that's really just for character. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with, with a knuckle component here. And what I've got <clears throat> is three 10-inch pipe, uh, pieces of pipe. So we're going to screw those on here. As you see, it's just a standard half-inch uh, pipe threading. Just screw that in by hand. So that gives us our tripod base that we're going to start with here. Uh, next what we're going to do is put on the foot components. And Andrew, if you'd like to go grab a couple of the uh, button screws that go on here. And so the, uh, the foot components, you'll notice these are a slip fit. And so <clears throat> those just uh, slide on. That gives you a little bit of adjustability so that as uh, if you end up putting the lamp down on an uneven surface, you can slide those on and off a little bit and then just tighten the, uh, tighten the screw down to give a nice fit. Now one thing we're going to go ahead and do is start feeding. We've got a 15 foot uh, cord set made for go for a lamp. Uh, we're going to slide that and start feeding it up through one of the legs because we want to feed that through all the way from, uh, from the base uh, up on into the lamp. So this is like I said it's a, a 15 foot long uh, cord set. <coughs> I'm going to start uh, feeding that up through one of the legs there. And uh, <clears throat> so as that feeds up, when it gets up to the top part here, we'll kind of pull that through and uh, so we can get that out. So once the wire gets up to the uh, top, you may need to just use a little pair of long nose, long -nose pliers to grab it. Uh, and then what we'll do is we're going to pull that, pull that out. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tighten down the, uh, the screw on each of the foot just so that it holds it and uh, secures that in place. Now you may notice my assistant here um, has got him a little bit of a shiner going on. <laughs> the, uh, Tried to do a super fly onto his bed, misjudged it, and uh, got uh, up close and personal with the uh, with the footboard. So uh, he's got a little uh, little uh, eye mascara going on there. So uh, you're you'll be all right, huh? You all right? So what do we say? You're editing this out. I'm editing. No, I'm not. It's uh, so now we're going to feed the cable up through our 48 inch long piece here. You may have to uh, work with this a little bit and uh, kind of straighten the kinks out of the wire as you're going along just so it feeds it through all the way. There we go. So now we've got that coming up through. So we're going to drop that down and uh, start getting that 
tight there. Go ahead and kind of stand on there so you get a good, uh, good twist going on. pipe T on there and uh, we're going to attach the pipe T. So to do that we need a uh, just a standard close nipple. So we're going to do the, uh, do the close nipple here and we're going to feed the wire through here. And I'm feeding the wire once uh, as we turn this. Uh, what I'm going to want is the wire sticking out towards the top. If it doesn't quite end up pointing the right way, what I'm going to do is I've got this other 10-inch uh, piece. Now this other 10-inch piece, I'm going to screw it onto the back side. Because this is going to be kind of, uh, in a lot of these lights you see kind of a counterbalance on it. But I'm also going to use that to give me a little leverage here to, uh, to tighten this down. Alright, so we've got that tightened. Uh, now that I've got a little extra leverage, I can actually rotate this a little more to tighten it. Because I've got my cord coming out this side, down here. And, um, and just for the way I want it leveraged, I'm going to have the, uh, uh, this lined up with one foot coming out here since a lot of the weight's going to be out that way uh, just for leverage there. So we're, we're in pretty good shape here. Um, now what we're going to do is add our main extension. And so what, I, what we want to do is kind of straighten this out a little bit. And I want you to kind of feed it up while I pull this out a little bit because I need to get a little extra cable here. And we don't want it to scrape off any of the coating on there. Now this last main piece I've got here is a, a two foot long piece that's going to go on there. So we're going to feed this out. Keep feeding that in a little bit. So I want to have a little extra. Okay, that should be good. Alright, so now what we're going to do is get our uh, <clears throat> Take our two foot piece and feed the cable up through here. Coming out the top there. Tighten this down. Alright, so we've got that nice and tight. So we're pretty. Uh, Pretty good, pretty nice and sturdy at this point. Uh, nice industrial look going on. So now what we want to do is get this arranged to back where I want the light facing down. So we got a couple of little pieces here uh, that we're going to use. And the uh, first one is called a, a, a Street 90. As you'll see, it's got the, uh, the, the male threads on the half inch NPT male threads on this side and the female on this side. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and fish the uh, Fish the wire through there. So fish that through first. Okay, we get that about there. Now, uh, next 
piece is another 45, because where we're at right now um, is we put the 90 on there, and since we have the 45 over there, we're just pointing back at 45 degrees. So we put another 45 on there, now we're pointing straight down. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is do a 45, and uh, we'll get this put on here. So we've about got the 45 on there, and uh, so what I'm going to show you next, let's make sure we're pointing down here, get it aligned right, so basically just by looking at it here we can, uh, you know, hold that side there for me, and rotate that just a little bit more, alright, beautiful, so just looking at it you can kind of see that it's aligned, uh, so we're in pretty good shape there. Alright, so at this point we've got the, uh, the wire fish through up to here. Now what we're going to do is put on a, uh, a little brass adapter. Uh, brass adapter is uh, got the half inch pipe threading on the one side and then the 1 8 inch uh, FIP threading on the other. Now I'm using a long uh, tube here. They come in different lengths. Some of this is you're going to want to decide at this point what um, what type of shade, how big of a shade you're going to use. Um, now certainly you could just have the wire coming down and if you wanted the lamp to just hang uh, off of the wire you could do something like that. Uh, in this case I do want to put a shade on here and uh, I want to use a, a shade that's, that's a little bit tight as far as fitting with my, my angle here so you can kind of play with different ones. Uh, once we have the, uh, the wire free I want to make sure that I'm going to be able to tuck that uh, the wire back up in there a little bit. So um, what we want to do is pull. You may want to pull that uh, wire back a little bit and try to feed it uh, so you don't have too much uh, sticking out. Okay. So now once we have the uh, once we've got the, the wire pulled through, we've got our extension tube on there. We need to put our little uh, base piece on here. Okay, and that just screws on a little bit. All right, once that's screwed on, now what we'll do is uh, wire on our connector, our light uh, socket here. That's real nice and easy to do there. We just put the wire on, tighten the screw, and uh, do the same thing on the other one here. So we've got both our wires are good. Okay, so we've got our uh, Edison bulb loaded in there. Uh, we've plugged it in. Andrew, would you like to do the honors of uh, giving us a quick test there? Let's see if it works. All right, beautiful. So the lamp works. It's good. Uh, at this point, then, we can put on our shade. We've got a couple different shades to kind of check with here. Uh, I'm kind of wanting a... Uh, Kind of an old style, old fashioned looking along with the uh, industrial look here. So what I'm going to do is, let's try and see how this looks with this shade here. Because this one is, um, alright, so it's all just playing around, seeing what works, what you like. And, uh, you know, pick up, like you see, we've got a couple different shades here. We've got this one that's kind of a cool uh, metallic, uh, silky looking shade. So that would look pretty good with it as well. But uh, I kind of like the old uh, the mix of the two styles together here. So if we uh, turn that one on. And uh, so there's, there's our lamp. Now one thing that I did... Uh, sort of incorporate into the design that I wasn't sure if we would need or not is I've got one of these little end caps um, to go on the end on this end of the piece uh, of the lamp just to help uh, finish it off a little bit but one of my thoughts was uh, and we can decide if we want to do this just for the sheer look of it is 
one thing I did do is I, I drilled a hole in the, uh, the end of this and I tapped it and uh, I tapped that to a uh, 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 5 sixteenths, 18 inch, um, 18 inch thread. And uh, the idea behind this is I wasn't sure if weight wise how this would end up so I could actually go out a little further. Uh, and if, if that was the case, then what I can do is I can screw this. You want to finish screwing that in for me? Uh, I can screw one in there. And now, if you notice on the knuckles that there are these, these holes on the sides. Now, these are 5 sixteenths, uh, 18 teeth per inch holes that are threaded on there, and they're kind of accessory holes. So, for, so if you need to do something, you can you know, screw something extra in there. Uh, now my thought with this was that if we were a little heavy on this side, can screw one of those into one side, and then on down here, on the knuckle, I can screw another one in here. You just want to be careful uh, that you miss your wire inside there. But uh, I'm going to just go ahead and screw these in. So this is one of the other uh, thoughts I had as far as having this leg come out this way is it gives me a spot on this back side to actually uh, put this eye bolt in there. Uh, you can adjust where that nut hits just so that it uh, hits right. So it does like that and we'll turn it so the uh, opening's on the top there and then just tighten that nut up against it so it's nice and secure. So now what I can do is, you know, as an accessory thing, I've got a, a turnbuckle and a little bit of uh, 16th inch braided cable and a couple of these um, uh, the little ferrule connectors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the little ferrule connector and hook the wire on this side, then I'll put the turnbuckle down at the other end uh, and connect it and we'll cinch that up. All right, so what we've got to do is, uh, if you haven't used one of these little uh, ferrule connectors here, um, basically you slide the wire, put it through your loop, and bring it back through. Now it's still, it's still loose here, so you just kind of position it on there, and then you can use a pair of vice grips, um, or if you want to take it over to a hard surface, you can uh, put it on there and whack it with a hammer. But basically you're just going to pinch that until it's, it's tight, and pinches on that wire. You loosen it, just check, uh, check, make sure it's nice and tight. So we're good there. Now what we'll do is go down to the other end. So if you're using one of these for the first time, uh, you want to back it out. Uh, and you got one, one screw that uh, they're kind of uh, reverse threaded. One's the normal way, the other's uh, reverse threaded. Uh, you want to open it up quite a bit because you're going to end up with a little bit of tension or slack in the system and you want to be able to pull that out. So, uh, so what we've got, we've got the other uh, ferrule connector here. So we're going to slide that onto the cable. Now we're going to slide the cable through the other far end of the turnbuckle. And we're going to go back through the other side of the uh, little ferrule connector. Well, we're going to pull this so that it's kind of snug. It doesn't have to be, uh, doesn't have to be super tight. But we're just going to pull that um, right about there and then again we'll crimp it. So we've got a nice firm uh, crimp on it. Now we've got a good, uh, good strong connection there. And then all we do is we tighten this here and that will tighten up, tighten that up. So you can see right there how it's already pulling, starting to pull that, put some tension onto it. Let's see those cutters there. All right, and then uh, we're going to trim off the uh, the excess wire here. All right, so we got our uh, excess wire cut. Uh, we got the nice little tension there. So this gives it kind of a nice. Uh, Nice industrial look too, because it adds just a little bit to it. So we'll back up now, see the whole light, and uh, see what we got. Alright, so now with the, uh, the line pretty well finished up here, um, what you can see is 
We've got the, uh, the tripod base. We've got the, the cable on here, which we've tensioned a little bit. That just helps to counterbalance. Plus, it gives a nice aesthetic to the uh, kind of industrial look to it, offset by our, uh, our, our antique uh, light there. Um, last thing to do would be to uh, use a couple of these little cork pads. Just put those on the bottom of each of the foot. Uh, or each of the feet uh, components so that uh, you know, it doesn't mark your floor up or anything like that. But uh, hope you enjoy this. Hope this inspires you to uh, either build a, a lamp the same as this or come up with something different. If you come up with something different, uh, take a picture of it, shoot it to us, and we can put it on our uh, Facebook page. Uh, if you would, go to our Facebook page, which is just Create a Component, or our website, and uh, look for other ideas and stuff there. We'll have the instruction sheet posted there, and we appreciate you uh, watching our video. Thank you.